Awesome, awesome, awesome. You gotta love it. This is the one and only Made in Compton Store podcast. Thank you for tuning in. That's M I C P T dot com podcast. Please tell a friend today, definitely, and every day. We have the one and only owner of Made in Compton Store. How are you today? I'm good. Yourself? Doing wonderful. Absolutely, absolutely. It's always a joy to talk to you. And I'm so very proud of you. I tell you, it's so many customers that love you. I tell you, they come through and they are looking like, okay, I need this hat to match this shirt. Oh, yeah, I remember when Bone made me this one right here. I know he, oh, yeah, that's right. That There it is right there. Can I get that in the XL? That part. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, those conversations just roll just like that. Is it something that you want to share? I know you had an idea. We did another show just in case people didn't know, but we want to share some new news that you have coming up that you were sharing about the other day. Oh, yeah. We want to uh, start having a subscription service called Compton in a Box. And it's going to be uh, $20 a month, and you get, like, three shirts during out the month, and you get hats, you get snapbacks, you get visors, and, uh, you know, lanyards, coffee mugs, just different little stuff throughout the week we sing. Throughout the week or throughout the month? throughout the month go work absolutely you know we was listening to that other song by bone thugs and harmony on that other show that was tight first of the month that was pretty tight and they were talking about og check when you get your og check i said i hadn't heard that or paid attention to that in so many years because sometimes i'm just listening to the beats and that reminds me you're a rapper too yeah and how long you been rapping um for like 20 years wow Absolutely. And you were talking about the fact that, you know, back in the day, you used to sell T-shirts, too, out the back of your van. Yeah. Now, what stimulated or motivated you to get into the attire of merch even back then? Mm, Well, first, we used to just be doing merch so we could sell after the shows. And then that spun off into just doing merch, period. Mm. Represent the city. Mm. Wow. And now you're worldwide. What do you think about that? Man, it's amazing. Whew. Oh, my goodness. So just in case somebody hasn't heard about the fact that there are tours that actually come to the Made in Compton store as well, can you tell us a bit about that as well? Yeah, it's a tour company called the L.A. Hood Tour that comes by. They made us a stop on the route. Wow. Now, you know, people just like, how does this all come together? Like, how do you just all of a sudden now you're part of a, a route on a store, but you were selling your merchandise out of the back of your van when you was doing, you know, shows? <laughs> like, how how does this come together? It's hard work and staying dedicated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, and then you know, just like the different uh, the menu board that you have in your store that showcases uh, various prints of t- uh, t-shirts, which you have a you know more as well. But uh, just like having that variety, where does that come from, or you know what what stimulated you to not say you know I don't want to do any other types of uh, prints. Mm, just trying to stay relevant with the continuous customers. Mm, smart, smart. And that, to stay relevant, that's why I'm sure you have a, a plethora of baby items in there because the babies keep coming because I mean, <laughs> all the onesies, the baby masks, the, oh my goodness, oh my, the people from different countries, they love the baby on the hoodie. I'm not sure what that's about, but they love the baby on the hoodie. <laughs> and and of course, where it says Compton, and it, and some people pronounce it Compton. And then they come, and some people, they say uh, L, 
L instead of saying large, they'll say L when they come from different countries. And I'm like, wow, they just simplify it all and make it very easy. So from the baby to a L and they just love it and all the different hats that are there, they're just so amazed. It's almost like, you know, if, if I could videotape and share with our listeners what their eyes look like when they're looking at all of those hats it's amazing it's pretty cool yeah and that's another story tell us about these hats oh yeah the hats is a whole nother game <laughs> yes yeah if i try to stay relevant most of them uh, we designed ourselves mm. then you got the traditional old english content that one he's even made famous mm-hmm mm-hmm Wow, now see, yeah, you have that picture. That's really nice. Oh, easy E, amen and amen. And then I tell you, there are these different hoodies. Now, some gentlemen, they tell me, they say, no, I, I have to have the hoodie with the zipper because I get hot. <laughs> they say, I'm a big guy. And I was like, okay, no problem. And I said, we have the zipper hoodies right over here and they just look like they're just so relieved like they're really hot at that time <laughs> when i tell <laughs> them there's hoodies. So just the thought of it make them uncomfortable ah, yeah and then they just get so relieved that's amazing so i know when we talk about hoodies or people hear about hoodies they don't think about the zippers they just think about the ones you pull over and so forth so that that's a variety too is that based on your comfortability as well or where did that comfortability come from or the variety to the customers okay okay yeah that'll do it because woo wee that is a really neat one because you do have the pullovers you have ones that don't have a hood you have the ones with the zippers as well and all of them have pockets and then you have the jackets tell me about these jackets with the light that look like the lakers of the, the l compton <laughs> oh yeah the bottom jackets it looks like an l but that's a c that's pretty neat did you design that or you have a graphic yeah. wow wow yeah, well, we flipped the lakers mm. that's pretty neat that's pretty neat and and they love the camouflage like so how do you put a camouflage like military and basketball together you know, this is something that we came up with and we thought that it looked good it does it does it's definitely appealing absolutely and so now there's a variety of beanies from all these different colors so now when you think about the variety of beanies first of all did you start with beanies or hats uh, hats Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then the beanies came into play. Why, or how? When the, when the weather got cold, people start asking for them. Go or definitely. Well, you are definitely catering to the customers because I tell you, I haven't heard of anything that you don't have that they want. You know what I mean? Absolutely. <laughs> like they love the stitch on where it says "Made in Compton." The stitch is so nice. They love that. Oh, the, that's embroidery. I learned that. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes. And you have so many choices. And then the thing about the store, because I know we've talked on another platform today on our first show, but I do would, I would like for you to share with our listeners here where in the world do you get the fact that you gonna start selling merchandise out of your van and then wind up in the store and then the store is 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 connected worldwide Man, it was just one of them things it's like uh serendipity mm. it's just a, a accidental uh, success. Wow. One thing led to another, and then it just start growing. Mm, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Because I tell you, it's amazing. I know there's this other concept where, yes, it it seems like wow. 
having a store has got to be a chore at times and then having a store we all know is a responsibility and then having a store that is filled to capacity and customers coming daily how do you keep up with everything <laughs> mm, it's a full-time job got you got you have you ever yeah. taken a vacation like where you went to the bahamas or anything like that <laughs> no oh yeah i think you one time you were telling some of us that you don't care for the water yeah, I don't. <laughs> That's right. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I was like, I asked him about the flowers. Yeah, that's so funny. And if you all don't know, he's a comedian too. I tell you, he is hilarious. So definitely, I've learned a great deal in the past few weeks that I've been working at the Made to Compton store. And I tell you, to the utmost respect that i have for any store owner that is designing things keeping up with their customers con uh, communicating and just because you know i love podcasts love talking to people and even the people in the parking lot they say you need a microphone a megaphone or something like that because they are not hear what you're saying to the trains <laughs> when they go by <laughs> and not that they would but is i do love to talk but at the same time i want to talk about what's happening in your store so i'm really thankful that you agreed to even do the podcast with me because this is really fun it's really neat and you know for the most part when anybody works with clothes most of the time you're thinking and folding clothes hanging up clothes but to be able to speak about it and talk about the experiences is really really a joy so that tells me or tells me how <laughs> to work that reminds me i want to ask you about the longevity of having this store what has that been like because you were sharing that you've been having a store like about 10 years yeah yeah like can you tell us like how does that feel that is it like the time just goes by super fast or what is it yeah i'm like super consumed with it it's, <laughs> it's a challenge you know keeping the lights on but it's a fun challenge it's a roller coaster mm, i got you it's like some months you know when covid hit mm -hmm. it was like we found ourselves, you know, scrambling, like, where, how are we going to keep making this thing work? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. COVID accidentally was a blessing in disguise because that's when we started making the masks. Okay. And the masks took off real good. The city purchased a lot of masks for the employees and then just for, you know, people wanting to customize their masks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Which is another challenge, but it was a good challenge. <laughs> Yes, okay. Because what they were asking for one mask in particular, like with their name on it or something? Yeah, I did. It was live with people's names on it. And then, you know, little social clubs did mm -hmm. they stuff. Mm -hmm. And different cities came in and supported their cities. Okay, I got you. So, made in Compton, we made a lot of stuff for a lot of other cities too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We don't just do Compton, we do, you know, whatever the customer wants excellent excellent that's really neat so yeah just like there was a customer that wanted some hats and uh, she understood that look uh, we don't really do one hat anymore <laughs> look you had to at least do how many 12 yeah just a dozen absolutely that's just like going to get a dozen donuts so I think that's pretty cool and then turn around she was so elated she thought about it she was like oh my goodness now i can always have gifts for my brothers and sisters or my cousins or dysfunctions i can always have one ready to go yeah i thought that was really neat how she thought about it like wow this is what i can do and then that inspired me to do a facebook live and an instagram live start telling people about how they can gift uh you know uh, some item not in particular it was a hat i was just saying they can gift people items from the made in compton store especially the people that grew up in compton and then they moved into different states and i was like yeah absolutely <laughs> so she inspired me to do a lot 
on that. So yeah, it's really wonderful when you connect with the people and and people just want to feel good about what they what they wear and so forth. I tell you, the material like I'm wearing a straight out of Compton t-shirt right now, and the material just feels good to you. It really does. It feels it's so comfortable, comforting. That's right, absolutely. Oh, yeah, it's nothing like a good tea. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm going to have to use that. <laughs> and put tea in my coffee mug. Because I remember before I worked at the store, I bought a couple mugs. So now, I, yes, I'm going to put some tea. It's nothing like a good tea at the Made in Compton store. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to do one of them. <laughs> Absolutely, you got to love it. And so just some people might want to know, how would you... Because I, I want to know as well. How would you inspire someone that always had a dream to have a store and just think like, wow, I'm not just really sure about how to go about it. So what what would you say to encourage them? I would say just go for it. Because mm-hmm. if you could make $20 a day, mm-hmm. 600 a month, mm-hmm. just go for it. And then everything will fall into place. Mm-hmm. Just right wow well said and then you know because you have the youth in sports and oh that's just really really neat today april 1st the dream j-r-e-a-n-a-m uh, team came today and uh, some football players and they just won a championship ring and it was just really wonderful and to support a made in compton store they are definitely doing fabulous work with their homework, academics as well. And the mothers brought the, their sons. And then one mother has the, the cheerleader that's the uh, leader of the cheerleaders as well. And I tell you, they were so happy. And I can't wait to share their drops for the store. But where did that cause come from? Youth and sports. I mean, you know, we all know joggers and so forth. But to think about sports as well. Well, as the sports organization is real big. Mm-hmm. You know, they need to get merch made, too. Mm. So it's, it goes hand in hand. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And then you're always going to have so many young people that's going to grow up in Compton, as we all did, playing some form of sport. Absolutely, that's true. Wow. And I tell you, is really really neat to be able to see the people that come by the store and they say you know what you know back in the day i had the t-shirt that looked like this but i gave it away <laughs> that was like the, the going thing and i tell you and they just like i hope you have it in my size and we know you have small to 7xl <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the neatest thing. So if it was something you could tell, share with anybody about uh, the T-shirts, um, just T-shirts in, in general, what would you tell them? Because I know it's people that's like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not able to wear T-shirts at work and then I don't play sports anymore or I got a bad knee because I used to, you know, bowl and like myself, you know, uh, I was a bowler's knee. And I was like, and then so when, when do you wear a T-shirt? What would you should say to those customers? Uh, it's always nice to get home and relax and put on a tee, something comfortable. Amen and amen. That's that salesmanship that I'm getting around to. Because I tell you, when you work at a store and everybody knows about upselling, everybody even knows that when you see something, that may be the the model. And then there's more that is going to come from that one, right? But in the meantime, you do have people that say you know well i'm not really sure if i really need that and but we go to walmart and you see the variety of the rack of gum and candy and all these other things right there (laughs) and and they you know they pick up something from there that's where i'm wondering is that where you came up from with uh those little bottle holders and the gloves and the socks and the underwear or where did that come from (laughs) Yeah, just supplying the need for the neighborhood. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh my God. And gosh. then tourists that come through, they give me suggestions. Yeah. They're like, if you need the koozie so we can hold a beer. Oh, that's what they're called. Okay. Because you. <laughs> I think you've been hearing me say that. I don't even know what they're called. They're called koozies, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> really neat. You got to love it. It looks like a real actual beer that it has content in the middle. Oh, man. That's, that's yeah, that is pretty unique. That's really neat. So, now, is there something that you want to, something else that you want to do with the store, like, for the summertime or anything, is, well, is there any plans for the, for something special? Uh, we usually come with a summer line, mm-hmm. like the shorts for the for the girls mm-hmm. and the shorts for the guys. Okay, and t- more tank tops. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice, and I see. Yeah, you already have a whew, a plethora of tank tops. Yes, indeed. So that's pretty neat from all uh, in all sizes. <laughs> And mm-hmm. lots of different patterns, so that's pretty neat. I got you, amen. So now, with the the, uh, if somebody wanted to get on that subscription, what do they need to do? Do they need to email you now, or what's the suggestion? Uh, we setting it up on the website. Okay. Where it just it, once you pay the premium, then you get sent on the mailing list. Mm, nice. Okay. Excellent. So, yes, I want to be able to help promote that. So, this is pretty neat to actually have these shows <laughs> and uh, the podcast, and then we'll get more information. And you all are also very much so welcome to share information in the, like they say, the direct message or when, when we're live, because we have went live today as well. And you'll be able to comment, and then we'll be able to interact and bounce back some information to you on a follow-up podcast how about that (laughs) go to work so with that said i think this has been very very neat to introduce the made in comfort store to podcast (laughs) the podcast world and know that it's going to get more you know it's going to be more interesting more informative that's the main thing we want to be more informative and just keep everybody in the mix and please join the show and it's a lot more coming your way and would you like to say share any more information owner of the main and Compton store we call you bone uh just uh check out with our website and we'll start having those prescription services real soon Absolutely. That's M-I-C-P-T dot com. Until next time, please share the show.